Do one more. We're live. We're back. Um, just want to share this. What's up, everybody? It's Stephanie from the what and oatmealplanner.com. I wish you my quick and easy plant-based recipes for your busy life. I know um, we're back, so I just wanted to share this out. And if you feel so inclined, you can share it as well. We're just gonna do some veggie prep. All right, so, okay, we're back, and let's get on live on Instagram. <laughs> All right, we're live. We're live on Instagram. Can you see? Uh... All right, so we are back. Thank you for joining me on Facebook and Instagram. What's up, everyone? All right, we're live on Instagram. Hey, everyone, it's Stephanie from Vegan What and um, DomingPlanner.com. And we, um, I didn't go live on Instagram earlier, but I went live on Facebook. And we did um, a little mini grocery haul. So if you missed it on Instagram, you can go on my Facebook page and check it out. Now we're going to meal prep. I've got my recipes <laughs> taped up in like order sequence, like time sequence. And then these are recipes from the Don't Meal Planner. So check out don'tmealplanner.com for your quick and easy plant-based recipes for your busy life. Now we're going to prep like any sauces or any veggies that need to be prepped before they go into the recipes just to make the recipe cooking streamlined and easier, quicker. So I'm just going to go down and make sure and see what we got. We've got, um, sorry, somebody walked across outside and I was like, what the heck? But um, we have our garlic and kale salad and for that we need to prep our dressing. So I'm going to prep that now. How am I measuring them? Um, do we have it? And I won't be able to answer questions because I just want to like flow through this. So I'll try to answer some questions at the end. Sorry, y'all. It's not a Q and A, so I apologize <laughs> if that's what you were expecting. And I'm sorry I came back on so late. I was um showing my grocery haul earlier and I was supposed to come back earlier but I had some other stuff to do and then I got hungry so I had to make a smoothie so yeah mm. so we're starting with the garlicky kale salad all of these recipes are from the don't meal planner so if you are a don't meal planner you can like prep along with me and like pre-prep along with me and then we'll come back and we'll prep like we'll meal plan so right now I am doing the garlic tahini dressing. And we just got our tahini. I'm not measuring well, so it might look off to you. But I usually just taste as I go, because that's what's easier for me. Our tahini, soy sauce. And I have like a little bit of music playing, just a little bit. I don't want it to be too loud so you can hear me, but I need something. Usually I do these lives with no music and it's boring. So we're gonna have something playing. Lemon juice. We're not doing lemon juice. I have these key limes. Little bit of key limes. And these up. Um, where is my thing? Oh no, where is it? I'm still here. <laughs> I'm just trying to find my, my key limes squeezer. I don't know where I went. Oh, no, that's not it. I'm still here, y'all. I could have it. I don't know where it is. I don't know where it is. This is what happens when you leave <laughs> people move stuff. No. This is what happens when stuff is blood and you drop things and everybody sees it. No, this is bad. <laughs> Where is it? 
squeeze in. I probably have seeds in here. It just squirted everywhere. So I will have to wash the shirt. Where is my thing? Uh, this is frustrating. <laughs> It's cool. We'll keep going. And now it's slippery because my fingers had to go into the sauce. No! <laughs> Alright. Try to get some of the seeds out. Let me dry my hands. <laughs> this is too much. All right. Nutrition release. So we are making the garlic kale dressing. Garlic powder. And if you are a dope meal planner and you see me like adding more seasoning than is recommended, please ignore. I just I'm used to like like tasting as I go. I don't really measure. So if you are like new to this, <laughs> you can follow the directions and you should be fine. Like thick, it gets so thick. But it's because of the nutritional use, it just like thickens it up. Tastes amazing. Right. So our dressing is ready. It's so thick, and it's like so much darker this time. I wonder what I did differently. So our dressing is ready. We're moving on to the cheese sauce. We need to make the cheese sauce. Because we use that in like the bean and cheese burritos, the pita cheesy pizza, and the chili cheese tots. So like three different recipes. So we need to prep our cheese sauce so that when we make these um, recipes, we can just Add the cheese sauce and not have to like make it as we go because that's going to take so much more time. And I have to like prep it anyways because it, the uh, veggies need to boil. So right now I'm just chopping the potatoes. And another carrot. I don't think I need that much. I'm just using half. I need to make a, <laughs> a different playlist for this. It's like slow jams right now, and I need like some upbeat music. I don't know, maybe even some trap music, something. But we can't stop. We have to keep going. So it's just going to play whatever it's going to play. And we need our onion. I don't need all of it. Um, I feel like this could actually be enough. But I'm just gonna, if you chop, chop your veggies for your cheese sauce, it'll make it cook faster. If you have like whole potatoes like boiling for your cheese sauce. It's just gonna take forever. So make sure you like chop your veggies up as small as possible. I mean we're gonna end up blending it anyways, but we just want it to to boil faster so it gets tender and it's not taking forever. So we've got our pot. I'm just gonna boil this up. I'll be right back. <laughs> I'm still here, y'all. I just need to put water in the pot.
and you just want to do enough to like cover it. I can't really see. You just want to do enough to cover it. And we're going to put this on the stove on high because we want that to boil. So our cheese sauce is prepping. What else do we need to prep? Mushrooms. I just bought the um like the pre-sliced mushrooms for the um pita cheesy pizza so that way I don't have to chop any mushrooms. Mm, what else? Uh, uh the chili cheese tops. Okay, so we need to chop an onion. I usually use red onions for my chili, but whatever onion will do. Can you see? Dang it, I got stuff blocking. Nutrition yeast is blocking, everything's blocking. Can you see? Yeah, that's better. So we're chopping. And I forgot to rinse this or soak this in cold water, so there will be tears. <laughs> I think, yeah, like when you soak your onion in cold water, it's supposed to help with the, the tear factor, and I forgot to do that. Woo! So <laughs> strong. Why? Oh, this is a little onion and uh, green pepper, right? Yes, green bell pepper. We only need a third of a cup. Let's just do half of this. Take the seeds out. Uh, I can hardly see. <laughs> Yeah. Onions are rough. And then as soon as we're done with this, I'm gonna let the cheese sauce like boil first. Usually I like try to prep my cheese sauce like ahead of time, like the day before even, just so it's ready to go. So I'm not waiting for it, but I'm gonna let the cheese sauce finish before I get back on so I can show you or maybe I'll show well I'll let the veggies boil first and then I'll get back on and blend everything up and let you see that live right now we're just chopping our green bell pepper for our chili And then just like prepping our veggies just helps so much so that like when we're going down the line making like each recipe or while we're cooking and multitasking, like it just helps to have this stuff like already done so that you're not like having to go through each recipe and chop the veggies for it and then you can just add it as you go and it just makes it so much quicker when you're making the recipe. But I didn't have like that much to prep this time. I think the only thing that's going to take a while is the um, veggies for the cheese sauce. Actually, I don't even know if you need all these onions. Now we just have to wait for the chili, I mean the cheese sauce for the chili cheese chop. So, and then we'll be like, 
pretty much ready to make everything. Yeah, okay, so if you're just joining me, hey, what's up? It's Stephanie from Vegan What? And don'tmealplanner.com where we make quick and easy plant-based recipes for your busy life. Right now we have our veggies for our cheese sauce boiling. Um, if you are a part of the Don't Meal Planner, we are making the garlic tea kale salad, bean cheese burritos, um, making the cheese sauce for our, all the cheese recipes, <laughs> cheese, um, all the recipes that require the cheese sauce. We're making the PD cheesy pizza, the buffalo cauliflower pizza, and the chili cheese tops. And right now I've just prepped stuff. Like I prepped my sauces and my veggies to go into all these recipes. So um, feel free to check out DoatMealPlanner.com. You can try it for seven days for one dollar. And um, if you are a Don't Meal Planner, you can make these recipes along with me. Um, right now, we've just done our prep, and we're just ready, waiting for the veggies for the cheese sauce. All right, so since we're waiting, I'll say, hey, everyone, what's up? I'll go ahead and say hi real quick. Scroll through on Instagram. Make sure they're missing anything. Hi, hello, hi, what's up? What is up? Sorry, I didn't do, I'm not doing a Q&A today. This is like all meal prep for the um, Joe Meal Planner and meal prepping for my week for my hubby and I. I need a breakfast dish help. Um, well, it depends on what you like. I mean, oatmeal is a great breakfast dish. Smoothies. <laughs> I am I'm having an extremely late breakfast, but I had to go grocery shopping today and run some errands. And so when I got back, I was showing like my grocery haul and I needed something quick, so I made a smoothie. This one has um, burro bananas. You can use regular bananas, kale, water, and um, PB, PB Fit, like powdered peanut butter. You can use regular peanut butter. But make a smoothie, oatmeal is quick. You can, use, uh, you can do a tofu scramble, so it's just a bunch of veggies. Um, it's just like how you would make an egg scramble, but use tofu instead. Or if you're avoiding soy, use chickpeas. And you can use, um, you can use chickpeas, like mash them up. And then even if you want it like a thicker scramble, you can use uh, the chickpeas and then chickpea powder with a little bit of water to make it thick. So it's kind of like almost like an omelet. Hey, hey, hello, hi. All right, so I'm going to get off while I'm waiting for the veggies to boil. And then once the cheese sauce is ready, we'll get back on and we'll actually meal prep. Oh, and I have um, heavy kale soaking and I have another bowl of kale soaking. So this is also prepping and waiting. <laughs> All right, y'all. I'll be back. We'll be back live, and then we'll actually like meal prep all the recipes for the week. You can see what I'm gonna eat for the week and what key I'm gonna eat for the week. So I will be back. We're gonna end this now on Instagram. And we're gonna end on Hi, Leslie. We'll be back. We'll be back live, but I'm going to end this right now. We'll be back.